Hi, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Find the cosine of the angle between the pairs of skew lines. So we have two skew lines here, this one and this one over here. And we're asked to find the cosine of the angle, or just the angle, if you want to find that first. Now, the formula we're going to be using is essentially, let's say we had a vector u, and we do, it, we do the dot product to another vector v. We divide this by the magnitude of the vector u, multiply the magnitude of the vector v. This gives us the cosine of, of whatever angle lies between these two vectors, u and v. So to get started using this formula, first we need to actually find some vectors because all we have is lines here. Now the specific line form for their, for their little equation, they wrote it out in something called the parametric form for the equation of a line. All you need to know is that if you take the specific co the coefficients of whatever is attached to the t value that you see here that's going to give you the individual components of a vector that's uh, parallel to the line so if you look at here we have the 3t the coefficient of the t is a 3 that's the x value look over here we have a negative 1 and right over here we have a 2 2t so that's going to be the z value and this vector right here is is essentially uh, parallel to the line. Let's call it P0. Let's do the same for the other one. So we have a one there, a negative two, and a five. This we'll call P1. And now that we have two vectors, we just input it into the formula that I showed you. So first we need to take the dot product. That'll be three plus two, then plus 10. That's gonna give us a 15 for the numerator. This is the result for the dot product. Now let's take the individual magnitudes. Let's start with vector u, or in this case, uh, p0. So that's going to be 3 squared plus negative 1 squared, and then plus 4. All that is being square rooted. Now to simplify it, we have a 9, we have a plus 1, and a plus 4. Or just 9 plus 5, which is square root 14. So this was a 15, I believe. I kind of cut it off there. Uh, now square root 14 down here. And now let's find the magnitude of the last vector. So we have a 1, let's do, the, let's do this over here, 1 plus negative 2 squared and plus 5 squared. All this being square rooted, we have a 1 plus 4 plus 25. That's going to be square root 30 as, a as an end result. And this will equal the cosine of theta, the, the angle between the two vectors that we found. So the parallel vectors that we found, when you use them to find the angle between those particular vectors, it's equivalent to the angle between the two skew lines you see here. And that is the end answer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.